But you may run into a candidate at any given time with so many making a number of stops across South Carolina as we go into the South primary. News 2's Libba Holland spent the day speaking with voters and she joins us now from North Charleston. Libba, tell us what's happening where you are. Carolyn, I am in Park Circle in North Charleston. This is where we've been all day talking to folks. We got here about lunchtime, and now some folks are wandering into this restaurant for a happy hour and dinner time. And a lot of these folks will be out voting February 20th and February 27th. Some won't, but I spoke with one political expert that says the Carolina's opinion is very important. This week in the Carolinas, it's not a battle between a gamecock and a tiger, but among the elephants and the donkeys. I'm really expecting a little bit of a bloodletting. Charlie James has covered political events since the 90s, and he believes this year is shaping up to be unlike any other election. This one is really the most exciting, really, so far, because I think more for social media than anything, how quickly the word can get out there. He says South Carolina has a pretty strong track record of selecting the GOP and the Democratic nominees. He credits our melting pot culture. Whereas in Ohio, New Hampshire, you don't have the, uh, you really don't have have the African American vote, you don't have the Hispanic vote, there's not that diversity there. South Carolina is a very diverse state, and I think we're going to see a lot different turnout here in South Carolina. He thinks the February Carolina primaries will represent more of what the average American wants in a president, but only if they put the word out. They always say if you can't vote, you can't complain, and that is absolutely the truth. This is a very important election. Everybody needs to get out and vote. So you heard him, everybody needs to go out and vote. Now I talked to some people who will be hitting the polls on the 20th and 27th to find out who they might vote for if they have somebody in mind. And the thing is, it's not so much that they know who they're voting for, it's what. And I'll have that coming up on News 2 at 6 o'clock. For now, reporting live in North Charleston, Libba Holland, News 2.